This video is going to be on something called phase diagrams. Okay, so a phase diagram has two things. It's got temperature on the bottom. So as we move this way, we are heating a substance up. That's why it goes from solid to liquid to vapor. I'm not sure why they spell vapor that way, but um, gas. So increasing temperature, going this way, heating, 20, 40, 60 degrees Celsius. And this side is pressures, okay, which is a little bit hard to see. This is pressure. Okay, so normal pressure is one atmosphere. So at sea level, at zero degrees Celsius at sea level, atmospheric pressure is called one atmospheric pressure. Since we're a little bit above sea level, our pressure is a little bit less than that. We're probably like 0.95 atmospheres of pressure right now. So remember, pressure affects molecules. If there's a lot of pressure, molecules are getting pushed together. If there's not much pressure, molecules can spread out. So temperature and pressure both affect if something's a solid, liquid, or gas, because they both affect how close together the molecules are. High temperatures, molecules can spread out. High pressures, molecules are pushed together. Okay, so this is a phase diagram, and they'll typically look like this. Um, so it's always solid, liquid, gas going that direction. Okay, they'll look a little bit different for each substance. Okay, every substance will be a little bit different. Um, one thing that's important, this point right here is called the triple point. Okay, the point in the middle is called the triple point. And that would be right there at that temperature and that pressure. So that's around probably 25 degrees Celsius and 0.5 atmospheres of pressure. This substance, whatever it is, would be a solid liquid gas all at the same time. Some molecules would be solid, some be liquid, some be gas. We'll do that with dry ice. We'll have all three states of matter going on at the same time. Um, if I ask you at room conditions, so room conditions are basically like one atmosphere. Okay, this is basically our room conditions. About We're about one atmosphere of pressure. And we're around 20 degrees Celsius, maybe 25 degrees Celsius. So at room conditions, one atmosphere, 20 degrees Celsius, about right there, this substance would be a solid. If we wanted it to turn into a liquid, okay, if we wanted to turn it into a liquid, we could heat it. So if we started heating it, kept the pressure the same, started heating, started heating, started heating, when it gets to that point right there, that substance would now start to melt. So the melting point, what's called the normal melting point, which is the melting point in this room, at one atmosphere pressure, the melting point would be around whatever if you went straight down from there, maybe around 28 or 30 degrees is the melting temperature of this. If you kept heating it in this room, so at the same pressure, kept heating, kept heating, kept heating, kept heating, kept heating. Once you get to right here, this is the liquid getting hot. Once you get to right there, now it would start to boil. So its boiling temperature is about 60 degrees in this room at one atmosphere pressure. But if you look at this, if we were at a lower pressure, it would boil at a lower temperature. So changing pressure affects the boiling point, also affects the freezing and melting point. So crossing this line is freezing melting, crossing this line is evaporation, condensation, whichever way you're going. But pressure affects those things. So let's say we're at this room, so our substance is right there. If we wanted to turn it into gas, there's two ways we could do that. We could heat it, which would make it melt right there. Keep heating until we get to right there and it would start to boil and turn into gas. The other way we could turn it into a gas is not change the temperature at all and just lower the pressure. Lower the pressure. If we did that, when we cross this line right here, where my X is, if we cross that line right there, it would go directly from a solid to a vapor, to a gas, which would be subliming, sublimation. So without heating it, we could make this solid turn into a gas by just lowering the pressure, okay, decreasing the pressure from there. So if I ask you the normal boiling point or normal freezing or melting point, that is at one atmosphere of pressure. You're looking at it there. Okay, but it could boil or freeze or melt at various temperatures depending on the pressure. Um, this point up here is called the critical point. If you get to that pressure and that temperature, the substance can no longer exist as anything except for a gas. Okay, so once we get to that temperature right there, the substance will now be a gas only. It can't be a solid or a liquid at that temperature. The molecules have too much energy, they're spread out, will not go back into a liquid or a solid from there. Um, let's go to a different one. Oops. Uh, let's go here. All right, sorry, you got a little error on the middle of the screen. This is a video. Um, so this substance, which is actually one we're going to look at at another point in time, 
Uh, notice one atmosphere of pressure is right here. So this is kind of our room pressure. So I'm going to draw a little line across there. This is kind of our, our room pressure is right there. So this substance in this room is either going to be, so this would be solid, liquid, gas. So in this room, at one atmosphere of pressure, which is pretty close to where we're at, this substance would either be a solid or a gas, depending on the temperature. So down here is temperature. Okay, so um, let's say that let's say that right here is let's say right here is 25 degrees Celsius. Oops, 25 degrees Celsius. Sorry, that's hard to read. That is basically room room temperature. So if that was the case, um, well, that's a really bad example, but change that. Change that. Let's say let's say 25 degrees Celsius right here. 25 degrees Celsius right here. So in this room, this substance would be a solid at 25 degrees Celsius. As we start to heat it, we started to heat it and we got to this temperature. So let's say this temperature right here is 50 degrees Celsius. As we start to heat it, once it gets to 50, it will go directly from a solid to a gas. It'd be really weird for a substance like this, but things that are gases normally are like this. Okay. They're probably gas when they get hot enough. Um, in order to make this substance a liquid, we would actually have to increase the pressure to get it above this pressure to get it up there and then have to heat it up as well to get into a liquid. So that's a little bit weird in there. It's a little bit of a weird phase area. Remember, this is called the triple point right here. You'd have solid, liquid, gas all at the same point. So we'll do a little dry ice lab with that where you can mess with um, different conditions to make it become a solid, liquid, or gas depending on pressure and temperature. Have a good day.